Okay, I'm back down Broom Pits today. I'm with Harry this time um, for a change. You ain't been fishing in a while, so. Yeah, first time in a while. When yeah. we got here, we thought it was going to be absolutely rammed, but yeah. we managed to slot into a nice little peg that's known to be known to do some fish. Um, yeah, I mean, the peg we're in now is called Steps. Um, it's a really big peg, slap bang in the middle of the lake. It commands lots of water. And yeah, we've doubled up. Harry's got the left, I've got the right. I've already had a couple takes since we got here, so we decided to do a video. Lost the first one, got the second one, scrape a 20, just over that 20 pound mark. We're both feeling confident in our rods and they're on firm spots, so. Yeah, I mean, like, like Harry said, we didn't intend on filming a video, but because Harry's already had two takes really quickly and it looks really good for a bite, so. Um, just gonna keep the bait going out and yeah. hope for another. Right then, so this is the peg. As you can see, it's really nice and spacious. You've got more than enough area for two little shelters down there. I've got my rods out here on the right and Harry's on the left there. As you can see, we've got loads of water to work with out there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty busy. We've got all the far banks taken. Pegs one, two and three are taken as well. But that's to be expected on a Saturday. So yeah, we're pretty surprised we got into this peg really. Um, obviously wet mats and wet slings because Harry's had a nice common but um, yeah both confident for another bite so let's hope one of those rods melts off okay it's about 8 o'clock now uh, we've both got our rods back out on the spot to redone for the night Put a little bit more bait out there and um yeah we're pretty confident for the night both of us i mean we've seen yeah we've we just sat here watching the water and in the past 20 minutes we've probably seen about 15 20 shows probably yeah. going nuts i mean this time of day they usually do they just before it gets dark and just as it's getting light in the morning you'll see a lot of shows for some reason uh and yeah a few of the shows, well, four or five of the shows have been right over my rod. We've seen a couple down by Harry, but... Feeling confident for Yeah, tonight. feeling confident. Most of Ethan's bites have come in the night as well, on his past That was sessions. one of the show right, right in front. So, yeah, very yeah. confident for the night. Right, guys, it's bloody cold out here, but my rod's just absolutely screamed off. Had a nice fish, pristine common. He's in the net right now. He tried to dart down to the snags on my left, but I managed to uh, managed to stop him. He looks a good one. I reckon he might be a scraper 20, maybe. Scraper 20, yeah, really nice common. I mean, I said to Harry, we'll get a bite about 10 o'clock, and I think it's 10 past 10 now, so. Bloody chuff with that. Let's Result. So guys, just past 10, had a bite quite early on, pulled the rod right round, tried to get in the snag, and it's this beautiful 21 pound common. Chuffed the bits with this, what a beauty. It's been a good session for me today. Fishing on a nice firm spot, matching hook baits, a few boilies spread, and it resulted in two 20 pounders for me. Chuffed the bits. Right, that's the rod back out on the spot that done the done the bite. Uh, gonna put some more boilie out now, and uh, hopefully I can get another one. Alright, Ethan, Ethan, get 
you're at you're at so guys after a long wait Ethan's rod has just torn off I thought it was going to happen earlier, I didn't think it was going to happen. I had a free last night. This is the rod I recasted actually at about three in the morning or something ridiculous. But yeah, it's finally gone and connected to a fish, so I'm to try and get it in the Right, okay, so that fish you just seen me. Uh... Probably see in that little video Harry caught them. He tried to film his rods getting a take, and you can sort of hear my rods in the background. Uh, yeah, played the fish all the way in uh, until about 10 foot out where it just come off. Uh, felt like a decent fish as well for it to come off the first one. It's super annoying, but got the rods back out now. Uh, yeah, last night was weren't as good as we hoped. We thought it was going to be a bit better. I had a Bite around 10 o'clock, just past 10 o'clock. Nice little 21 pound that you, you guys would have seen earlier on in the video. But um, yeah, it was slow. Ethan had a bream, but apart from that, absolutely nothing until this morning. Hoping we can get a few, a couple more takes before we go. Try our luck. But yeah, let me know how it goes. So, guys, I'm now home from the session you joined me and Ethan on earlier in the video. It was absolutely chucking it down whilst we were trying to get our gear on the barrow, so we thought we'd just sod off the outro and do it when we were home. Um, I hope you liked the first video. I'm going to try overall and improve the quality, but um, I just want to say I'm back out on the bank this weekend, so hopefully when you next see me, I have a chunk in the net.